Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and I am super excited to talk about the cast function in this video. So most of the time when you have your data in a table, you want to convert the type of that column. So for example, in this table, in this transaction data table, we have our transaction date, fees and the roll number of the students and right now if we want to change this fees column as a string we can do that as well as this transaction date is in the format of year, month, day, hour, minute and time and if we want to change it into a simple date format we can do that using this cast function. So this cast function converts an expression from one data type to another data type and if the conversion fails then the function will return an error otherwise it will return the converted value so let's go and see how we can use this cast function in our sql query so we'll use the same table here okay and first of all i'll change this transaction date into a specific format so to do that i'll simply have to write cast and then i have to give the column name the column name is transaction date okay and after this transaction date, I have to give the format as which I want this column to be converted into. So I'll simply put as date. And then I'll close this bracket and I'll put an alias of this column as D date. Okay, now let's run this query. So you can see here is that the transactional date has been converted into a simple date format while this transaction date is in date and time format. Now let's go and change this fees column as a float because right now this fees is in integer format. So to do that we will simply add cast and then we will add this column name which is fees as float and then we will give an alias to this column as float fees float fees in float okay let's go and run this query again okay so we have a new column here fees in float and these fees which is an integer has been converted into float. So this is how you can use this cast function to convert an expression from one data type to another data type. If you want to learn more about SQL, you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you want to learn about Excel, you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.